Officer Jeff Hughes with the Wichita Falls Police Department's Public Information Office. Welcome to another episode of WFPD Now. I'm being joined today by Animal Services Administrator Katrina Mitchell. Katrina, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for inviting me out. Tell us a little bit about what you do over there at Animal Services. I oversee the daily operations of the Animal Sh Services Center. That includes our animal control officers and our shelter staff and our, our intake area. So you're responsible for everything from when the animals come in to when they get adopted out? Correct, yes. Okay, tell us a, a little bit about uh, the pets. We get asked a lot at the police department about pets, what kind of pets you can have, how many pets you can have. Tell us a little bit about what the pet requirements are in Wichita Falls. Okay, um, dogs and cats, you can have a total of four without a permit. If you are an animal lover and you want more than four, come and talk to us. There are some special permits you can obtain. You can have livestock inside the city limits with permits, and there's certain requirements about footage and away from your neighbors. You cannot have roosters, guineas, peacocks, just because they make a lot of noise. And I know we see a lot on, on social media, especially Facebook. You know, people will have things like pet raccoons, pet skunks, pet monkeys. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing you cannot have any of those inside the city limits. Right, you can't have a pet uh, wildlife of any type. So even as cute as it is to watch a monkey getting its hair cut on social media, you cannot have a monkey. Not inside the city limits. Okay. Um, you mentioned city permits. Tell us a little bit about what's involved in getting a city permit. If somebody, maybe somebody wants uh, something that does require a permit, do they just come to see you or is there an online process or what do they need to do? They can come into the services center on Hatton Road and get an appointment scheduled. Uh, we can give them the information about what the ordinances require as far as a permit. They can call our dispatch number, 761-7824, and make an appointment as well that way. Okay. And also, one of the other things we get asked a lot, and we actually you know, get calls for service, somebody may find a snake on their property, or maybe somebody has skunks or, or rat problems, or just uh, wildlife on their property. I know coyotes. Uh, are big this type of year. What, what does somebody do if they if they have that issue on their property? Give us a call again. Um, we have a trap rental program. So if you have a nuisance animal such as a, a skunk or an armadillo, a possum, something like that, uh, we can get you a trap and set it and then whatever you capture we can pick up. Um, rats we really don't do a whole bunch about. And then coyotes we'll try to run them out of the neighborhoods. Um, you know they they were here first and so it's kind of their mating season right now also so they're they're out and about looking for love. And, and when you talk about uh, trapping, you know, a lot of people will, will try to trap these animals themselves mm -hmm. or, or maybe they will get approached or they will approach an animal and, and sometimes those animals, they, they get scared too and they have reactions. So what if somebody gets bit by wildlife or even a pet or they get scratched, what, what do they need to do? Um, they need to seek medical care, of course, first and foremost, make sure that they're safe, but they also need to call us. Um, if they go to a doctor, to the ER, or anything like that, they're going to give us a call. That's a state requirement. They're required by law to report that. Um, but if they get bit, what we want to do is make sure that people are safe from rabies. Rabies is fatal once a person or an animal uh, starts showing symptoms of it. So if we can get them treatment or if we can quarantine a domesticated animal and make sure that they're not sick with rabies, that's what we would prefer to do. Okay, and you're talking about rabies, and, and that brings to mind to me uh, vaccination. So even if you have pets, I mean, and they're, they're an inside pet, they're still required to, to have all the shots, correct? Right. State law requires that all dogs and cats and ferrets over the age of four months have to be vaccinated for rabies. And most protocols by vets now are either one year or three year. So make sure that you're following up on that. And that, that's a prevention. Um, you know, things happen, and so we just want to make sure that everybody stays safe. Okay. And when you're talking about the uh, emergency rooms and medical personnel being required to actually make that report, that, that's even if it's your own pet, right? Correct. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, your neighbors or your own pet. They're required by law to report that. And, again, it's just to make sure that everybody is safe. And I know when people think of animal services, one of the things they think about is, is they think of the, the, the cute dogs and the cute cats that are, that are up for adoption. Uh, if somebody would like to adopt a pet, how, how does that process work? And we have a pretty simple, um, easy process to go through. And it's a simple application. We really try to match you up with the right pet. We don't want them, most of these animals we picked up as a stray or somebody doesn't want anymore. So we want them to go to Forever Home. So our adoption fee is $50. The adopter is also um, responsible for the spay and neuter surgery of the animal at their own vet. And then um, all other pets in the home must be spayed and neutered, current on their rabies vaccinations, and their city licenses. And I know, the, you know, those pets, those are, those are, they really have a soft spot with us. I know here at the police department we do a, a Forever Friday feature right. that you can find on our social media. And, and we try to feature those, some of those pets, too, and, and try to get them adopted. And, you know, those pets that, like you, you mentioned a while ago about the, the wild animals, they're just out there looking for love. But, but you know, so, so, are, the, so are these pets. A lot of these pets, that they, 
that that are you know the strays that came in they came from somewhere or a lot of them are owner surrendered and, and they need that love all right you know they make great wonderful pets i have a house full of them all of my staff does uh, we can't adopt every one of them so we really need good families to come in and fall in love with one of the animals that we have and what's the requirement for adoption as far as uh age is you know you have to be 18 21 how, or, you have to be 18 you have to be an adult and be able to enter our entire legal contract and then that's it we just try to make sure it's a good fit okay well sounds good I and mean, y'all have y'all are usually full right and we just opened our brand new adoption wing and so we are uh, can hold 18 more dogs for our adoption program so we stay pretty full we bring in um, every month 400 dogs and cats and, and that's just for the city and tell everybody real quick where you're located again 1207 Hatton Road in Wichita Falls. It's at the corner of Hatton Road and Highway 281. All right, Katrina, thanks for joining us today. Thank we you. appreciate it. This has been another episode of WFPD Now. Be sure and catch us on social media at WFPDNow.com, also on our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm Officer Jeff Hughes from the Public Information Office. Thanks for watching.